welcome to DS Trucks. Today I'm going to show you what could be the easiest mod ever for your Ford trucks. And this mod will work for any F-150 with a center console made from 2015 to 2021. Or any Super Duty with a center console made from 2017 all the way up until 2022. And it involves Gorilla Tape. Now, what am I talking about? center console how is this the easiest cheapest mod that you can do probably the best bang for your buck ever that you can do for your truck excuse the mess guys i got some mask and some envelopes here full of money that I need to get it out of here but anyway how can this gorilla tape modify your truck so check this out guys i want to show you this your center console has these little slots here they have these little slots right here and here's one in the front and here's one in the back right here and if you noticed it kind of looks like a file organizer but if you've tried to put a file organizer in your truck you realize that the opening is actually just a little bit too big so it's, it's a little bit too big to fit your normal from office max or whatever your um office depot type of situation that you have near you it just doesn't fit for some reason it's just somehow from the factory ford they've made it almost fit a file but it's just too big for a file what i've been, what i've done is if you look way back down in there and i'll have to get really far in there for you to see it i've been able to pretty much if you look way back there that's just a little piece of tape that's been folded backwards and it's way back there you can't even tell it's there it's been folded backwards so i'll show you essentially what i've done all right guys so basically all i've done is i've taken a piece of tape gorilla tape or i might even use a different kind of tape i don't remember but because that tape is uh probably different it looks kind of it looks kind of different but anyway any kind of duct tape or whatever I took it, I folded it back on itself, and I just folded it into like a little bit of a, little bit of a ball back, so sticky on on all sides. And essentially, what this does is on the back side of your center console. If I open this up again, on the back side here in your center console, you can actually, you can actually pull this up a little bit, just like that, and stick this little piece of tape behind in the corners and i just did both corners one in this corner and then if you slide this over there's another one if you can tell it's back there it's way you can't even see it it's it's literally unnoticeable but if you look way back in the corner there's just a little piece of tape you can't tell it's even there and it's just pushing it's just pushing this back part forward just enough so that it will accept a file now why would you want to do this well for me having this little file organizer really makes a good use of your center council and it also lets me store whatever contracts which i can't show but my snow plowing contracts i just put them in here i don't have a whole bunch of paperwork uh i do snow plowing lawn mowing landscape whatever and everything is pretty much uh in the cloud or whatever but every once in a while i'll have like a contract or whatever for snow whatever and i'll get it signed and I don't have like an official office anywhere or anything like that so i'll just put them in here and i'll get rid of them after a couple years or whatever but i'll put them in here i'll keep my little there's a bunch of stuff in here that i can't show you but my truck maintenance is in here so i'll every time i get an oil change every time i buy oil or fuel filters whatever i'll save that invoice and i'll put that in here in order I know a lot of guys have like log books or things like that. I, I don't think I would do well with the log book. I just keep all the receipts from all my maintenance and I and I just stack them up in order as the truck ages. So when I do one day sell the truck, I'll have all of that stuff. It's not gonna be a log book or anything, but it's just gonna be all of my maintenance. And that's what these are. So these folders here, um, they're the truck maintenance and the trailer maintenance and all that stuff. So I know that's kind of clunky to have a folder in a file, but it is kind of what it is because I mean, I technically maybe I'll just, maybe I could lay these down. I don't know, but 
they the downside to using the folders is they kind of they kind of stick out a little bit which is not what i wanted but it helps me keep everything separate because i need my trailer i need my truck and i when i kind of need it in a folder i think but this book's kind of messed up and tore up but the reason it's messed up and tore up is because i didn't have a file or organizer in the truck before so this is my little booklet i had it since 2019 i need to go get a new one but it's got all of the materials in it that i use topsoil edging mulch whatever so whenever i need this boom it's right there and i used to keep it right here in my last truck because it's like oh it's right there oh it's right it's right by the seat belt boom no instead i'll keep it here now when i get a new one of these books i will put it in here there's a contract let's see i'll put it in here i'll drop it in here and that's going to be that that's going to be it easiest mod cheapest mod totally organized look in your center council right now and and ask yourself the question is it organized my wheel locks i put a little piece of tape on here and it's just holding them up so they're not flopping around and it's not just bouncing all over the place but take a look in your center council and let me know if it's i, I know there's going to be center councils out there that are more organized than mine uh i keep a stick of deodorant i keep a stick of deodorant here i should have titled this video what's in your center council <laughs> i keep a stick of deodorant just in case i forget to put that on and it's with me um some other little miscellaneous stuff keys for for a hitch um you know the other miscellaneous stuff so this is it this is the easiest mod you'll ever see for your truck potentially ever see for your truck but yeah it's something to think about something i noticed something i've thought about for a number of years owning these trucks with these center councils this is my third f-series truck i had two f-150s my wife has so this is my fourth f-series truck with the big center council that i did not use and now that i think about it i'm gonna go ahead and put this mod in my wife's truck she just is busy doing stuff She's busy doing secret stuff that needs files and i'm gonna go ahead and do this mod to her truck it's gonna take me just a minute but i wanted to share this video because this is just a really easy simple mod that anybody can do for hardly any money i mean you're talking pennies not even pennies if you already have a roll of tape just a couple pieces of duct tape and you're good to go but this is our 2020 f450 on ds trucks my name is sean if you haven't seen the channel let me know what you think about this truck it is a laria ultimate package but i want to just quickly show you some of the other stuff other mods we've done and done videos on done videos on our salt spreader those videos are out how to install salt spreader that's out we've done our snow plow install videos here's the controller we've done a couple different snow plow install videos we have the built right industries mount in the dashboard and another cool feature that uh you probably won't see any very much of it was locked another cool feature that you probably won't see very much of on youtube i actually went ahead and did the built right industries rear seat mount here on youtube so check that out if it's not all the, already out but yeah that was a pretty cool install uh, I'm planning on putting some power inverter in here and uh, some different stuff like that in the truck. But yeah, 2020 F450 dually. Uh, we've done, we've also done the running boards. What I've done with these is I took off the original running boards and put on extended running boards, which gives you a little step. And we've done some pretty interesting modifications with this because if you ever know, noticed, uh, or if you have one of these trucks with the extended running boards, the longer ones then you know that um they're a little bit flimsy they don't actually have this cover in it so we went through the trouble of putting the ford super duty cover on it and that took a good amount of modification and fabrication and we did that we actually we did a video installing lights here on our running boards so that they shine back because it's hard to see with the tinted windows um so when you stand here lets you get inside the bed of your truck very easily which is nice um but yeah we've done some stuff with the truck guys 
so if you like truck content go ahead and drop me a sub if you like this little simple easy modification that gives you a ton of value in my opinion comment below but anyway my name is sean this is ds trucks that's it for the video see you in the next one over and out